Now we will present the essential characteristics within the maximum growth and reuse alternative, the most aggressive growth scenario for Oceana. In this alternative, accommodation for future growth focuses on the redevelopment in the airport neighborhood, mixed use development to accommodate housing and job growth, <laughs> and creating access to healthy foods and open spaces. This map shows the proposed land uses for future development in the maximum growth and reuse alternative. Key changes in this alternative include the redevelopment of Pier Avenue, the airport, and downtown neighborhoods, through an emphasis on the creation of medium and high density residential and mixed use developments with large areas set aside for community open space. Since development in this alternative is concentrated along an area historically prone to flooding, it includes a protective dike along the Arroyo Grande Creek. With limited space for physical expansion, the maximum growth alternative looks to combine living and working space in medium and high density mixed use communities. This map portrays the different types of housing proposed for the west side of Oceano, which includes medium density housing in the Strand neighborhood, medium density mixed use in the Pier Avenue and industrial neighborhoods, and high density mixed use in the airport neighborhood. On the east side of Oceano, this alternative maintains single family homes and includes provisions for ADUs throughout central Oceano. This can accommodate additional growth by increasing density without changing the neighborhood character. This alternative also considers medium density mixed use development in the downtown and southern Oceano neighborhoods. This map illustrates the proposed locations for future commercial development. Larger areas for commercial use are centered in the airport, industrial, and southern neighborhoods, with smaller scale developments in downtown, Pier Avenue, and Central Oceano. The areas highlighted in red are a part of mixed use developments providing access to healthy food, entertainment, and other commercial amenities. The proposed circulation network for this alternative suggests improvements centered on active transportation within Oceana. This includes complete streets that accommodate ex expanded transit availability and enhanced pedestrian and bicycle access across the community, portrayed in the green dashed lines. This alternative integrates a variety of pedestrian pathways to improve safety and connectivity between destinations. These pathways include multiple pedestrian crosswalks, as marked by the walking person icon on the map, and a pedestrian and bike dedicated path highlighted in the dashed blue lines. Open space is a major feature of this alternative. Specifically, it introduces a new regional open space in the airport area that can be utilized by residents beyond Oceano. Neighborhood open spaces within the southern and central neighborhoods could be created as well. These open spaces would be connected by a number of complete streets and pedestrian trails that can be accessible to the community as a whole. In this alternative, there are four key growth areas. Some of these areas overlap the predefined neighborhood boundaries, but each offer a distinct vision. Pier Avenue provides for potential development of underutilized lots, the airport and industrial neighborhoods have the largest potential for growth. The downtown and southern neighborhoods offer potential for mixed use development. And Central Oceano provides an infill, infill of vacant parcels. This scene shows potential growth for the Pier Avenue and Strand neighborhoods. Low and medium density residential infill can accommodate additional growth while maintaining the neighborhood character. Pier Avenue can also serve as a visitor destination with mixed use development. These visuals represent the airport redevelopment, the most significant proposed change in this alternative. This neighborhood could accommodate clustered housing for the most aggressive population growth, as well as facilitate opportunities for job growth. The neighborhood would include a vibrant commercial frontage that connects to high and medium density housing. A paved pedestrian and bicycle path along the new flood protection dike 
can create a new access point to the beach and establish link linkages between the airport neighborhood and the rest of Oceano, particularly the downtown and industrial neighborhoods. This scene illustrates the potential growth and revitalization of the downtown and southern Oceano neighborhoods. Medium density mixed use with a small town aesthetic is included to accommodate growth while maintaining the existing neighborhood character. In addition, a new neighborhood park is included adjacent to the downtown to provide open space in the southern portion of Oceano. Finally, Central Oceano has the potential for an increase in residential density and commercial activity. Additional ADUs can provide housing for a variety of incomes and family sizes in the community. Creation of a new neighborhood park and open space provides for recreational use and the addition of commercial developments can provide food access and healthy alternatives. The maximum growth alternative provides a network of complete streets throughout the community, connecting people with the places that they live, work, shop, and play. This network links with a pedestrian bike loop, which will surround the redeveloped airport neighborhood. The plan envisions a community trail, which loops through the lagoon area behind the airport to connect to an open plazaway through the commercial areas located in Southern Oceano and downtown neighborhoods. The pedestrian and bike loop provides easy access to the beach, Pier Avenue, and airport area open space, providing opportunities for active use that are attractive to residents and tourists alike. The maximum growth alternative creates the following outcomes. Mixed use developments that are attractive places to live, work, and play, a vibrant and connected downtown district, improved connectivity across the community for pedestrians, cyclists, and transit users, as well as vehicle drivers, more open spaces, reuse of the airport, healthy food options that are accessible for all residents, and capitalizing on Oceano's waterfront location to attract residents, workers, and visitors alike. Before diving into the breakout sessions, we will now offer a brief recap of the three alternatives. In the baseline growth alternative, low density single family homes remain the dominant type housing type in Oceano to maintain the small town feel that is valued by the community. A range of medium to high density residential will be applied through infill development in the Strand, Pier, and downtown neighborhoods. The moderate growth and redevelopment alternative offers housing which ranges from low to high density with a strong focus in the industrial and downtown neighborhoods. In these areas, mixed use residential is preferred. Under the maximum growth and reuse alternative, Oceano offers housing for medium and high density mixed use residential neighborhoods that are well connected to jobs, shopping, and leisure activities. All three alternatives promote mixed use in commercial development. The baseline alternative suggests two-story mixed use on vacant properties in the downtown area. The moderate growth and redevelopment alternative consists of medium and high density mixed use commercial focused primarily in the industrial and downtown neighborhoods. The maximum growth and reuse alternative integrates medium density and mixed use in most neighborhoods to increase economic development. High density mixed use is focused in the airport reuse neighborhood. Regarding circulation, the baseline growth alternative remains auto-oriented, but introduces the two potential improvements which included the safe pedestrian crossing across Highway 1 and the expansion of sidewalks as vacant land is developed. The moderate growth and redevelopment alternative is centered on walking and biking. This includes the connection of complete streets, traffic calming measures, additional bus stops, and a pedestrian and bicycle trail. The maximum growth and reuse alternative builds upon the improvements presented in the moderate scenario and includes enhanced access to the beach, western, and southern portions of Oceano. Comparing parks and open space outcomes, the baseline growth alternative adds new small parks as vacant land develops in the central and southern parts of Oceano. 
The moderate growth alternative adds parks and green space in close proximity to the central, southern, and industrial neighborhoods. The maximum growth and reuse alternative envisions redevelopment of the airport area and results in a significant amount of regional neighborhood serving open space. In summary, the baseline growth alternative is focused on infill in the Strand, Pier Avenue, and downtown neighborhoods while maintaining low density in central Oceana. This, under this alternative, the circulation network is to remain auto-oriented. The moderate growth and redevelopment alternative is focused on the industrial and downtown neighborhoods, largely in the form of commercial and high-density residential development. In an effort to support these changes, this alternative develops pedestrian and bicycle-only paths and corridors. The maximum growth and reuse alternative is focused in the airport area through the integration of open space, trails, and high-density mixed-use development. Okay, now the fun part. It's not in the script. <laughs> Um, <laughs> thank you all for your attention. We're going to transition to the feedback portion of this meeting, which will take place in the format of small group discussions. The small group discussions are where you will discuss the three alternatives with regard to their proposed outcomes and key features. We have calculated in 15 minutes of discussion on each alternative with a short time after all three discussions where we'll ask for a summary of comments and final thoughts. For each, you'll be provided, each alternative, you'll be provided with handouts where you can vote on features that you like and dislike about each alternative proposal. All of the feedback that you offer us is very important and we're here to listen to your ideas, questions, and comments. Feedback from today will be used to define the preferred alternative scenario. Si quiere hacer esta actividad en español, tenemos dos estudiantes que pueden traducir las instrucciones en esta mesa. Okay. <laughs> if you want to do the activity in Spanish, you can sit at that table with them. Okay. So please turn your attention to the planning team representatives who will join your tables um, for further instructions. I have a question. Yes. I want to thank you very much for the wonderful presentation.